Hey guys. Hello. So here's a new one from us and I just wanted to take a minute to explain it. This is a Eurorack module. It is a MIDI through and it's a little bit different than the options that are available. This has two MIDI inputs, one here and one here. So one in the front, one in the back. All the other jacks are MIDI through. So basically if you're in a situation where you have one uh, MIDI source, say your computer audio interface, and you want to drive a lot of MIDI devices with it, this gives you 11. And you can hook to it from the front if that makes sense for your case, or if you have a more permanent installation, you can hide the MIDI coming in by hooking to the back of this. Uh, the only caveat here is that uh, this is designed for the MIDI standard 8th uh, inch cable. So therefore, uh, some devices that were made before everyone settled on doing it in a standard way, uh, this may not work with all of them. There are MIDI through boxes and converters out there for converting between the standards. Uh, so just be mindful. Um, if you're getting this to check it, make sure that uh, the device you want to drive it with has uh, the correct standard MIDI. And if it doesn't, uh, look up and see what kind of adapter you need for driving it. But this is the MIDI standard, so the MIDI input on any of those devices will not get hurt if you hook it up to this and it doesn't work. Um, everything is labeled on the back, just in case you forget. All the different outputs and such are labeled there. And it does require power, so it has a keyed power connector on the back there. It is standard uh, MIDI, it is opto isolated, it has the diode, it is at the correct voltages, etc. So everything is perfectly, uh, you know, as you would expect with this guy. And uh, okay, now that's what you're supposed to do with it. Uh, and Addie was asking me while we were putting together the, the data sheet for this. She was like, okay, now what happens if you do something that you're not supposed to do with it? What are the bad ideas? So I said, well, I mean, you could put something other than MIDI into the input. So I thought we would take this into the studio, hook it up in the rack, and uh, see what happens when we pass uh, audio into the input and monitor the output of it. And essentially, uh, because of this opto isolator right here, I suspect that the louder a triangle wave goes into this chip, the wider the pulse width of a square wave coming out of these will be. And that uh, should be interesting, uh, especially if we can get it patched to the point where the output of this device is feeding back into the device. Yeah, so you're mixing what you're feeding it with what it's giving back, back into its input to create a sort of feedback loop in here. It should be some uh, interesting sounds. So uh, after this point in the video, we're just going to be experimenting in the studio. That's all the content uh, for what you're supposed to do with it. Now let's get to the uh, what, what you're not supposed to do with it. <laughs> for science. Yeah, okay. Thanks guys.